Hi everyone. On a given day, machine A has a 10% chance of malfunctioning and machine B has a 7% chance on the same of the same. So, given that at least one of the machines malfunctions today, what is the chance that machine B malfunctioned? So, uh, let's do a little tree diagram and do machine A first. So for machine A, um, this is for any day, so we'll just do, this is malfunction and not malfunction. So this is 0 0.1 for malfunction, and therefore this has to be 0 0.9 for not malfunction. And then let's do machine B. So machine B is um, 0 0.07 for malfunction and 0 0.93, because these two have to add up to 1 for not malfunction. And then you just copy it down again. So we're talking about the same date, basically. 0 0.07 and 0 0.93, malfunction, not malfunction. So let's answer some questions. So it says, given at least one of the machine's malfunctions. So uh, what we're doing is we're using our conditional probability. Given that at least one of the machine's malfunctions, what is the chance that it's B? So we want probability of B and malfunction divided by uh, malfunction because that's the given at least uh, one of the machines so that's going to be malfunction therefore um, the first thing I want to do is look at given at least one of the machines malfunction so if you kind of write this out by tree by branches this is malfunction malfunction, uh, malfunction, not malfunction, not malfunction, malfunction, and not malfunction, not malfunction. So at least one, the only one that doesn't malfunction is this one. So let's look at that. That's uh, 0 0.9 times 0 0.93. And if you multiply that out, you're going to get uh, 0 0.9 times 0 0.93. That gives you um, point, 0 0.837. So to get at least 1, all you have to do is take 1 minus 0 0.837. That's going to be a lot easier than trying to do all these, uh, all of these, because all of these three are at least one malfunction. So um, uh, one minus that is going to be um, 0 0.163. All right. Now we want. Um, this part. We want malfunctioned and B. So malfunctioned and B. So here's your B malfunction. Let's do this in blue. Uh, B malfunctions here and here. So what you're going to do is multiply um, these two, 0 0.1 times 0 0.07, or it could be these two. All right, because we want B. The only way it's malfunctioning on B is these two. So that's going to be 0 0.9 times 0 0.07. All right, I'm squeezing it in. I'm going to write it out again. So we get 0 0.1, 0 0.07. So this one right here is just going to be 0, 
a point zero zero seven and again this one I didn't couldn't squeeze it on here you're multiplying uh, these two numbers so when you multiply those two numbers we're going to add those up so 0 0.9 times 0 0.07 gives you 0 0.063 and when you add that to uh, 0 0.007 you get 0 0.07 now we want to divide by this number so that's 0 0.163 and divide that uh, 0.163 and let me see what happens you're going to end up getting 70 divided by 163 and that's your final answer thank you have a nice day bye bye